Hi there! What does the phrase naturally born mean in the animal world? The meaning of it is extremely different because of a fascinating variety of animals on the earth. Some of them are unbelievable, and now I'm going to tell you about a dozen of them. Get ready to be surprised! Talking about extraordinary pregnancies, elephants come to my mind first. These creatures are unlucky to have the longest pregnancy among mammals. It's about 22 months. It takes so long because of the size of the animal and the embryo develops slowly. Elephant calves typically weigh between 220 and 330 pounds at birth. A female becomes fertile not earlier than at the age of 7. But it doesn't mean she got pregnant very soon. If conditions around are not satisfactory, there's little food, bad weather, drought, or something else, the conception may occur at the age of 15 or at 20. The next pregnancy can happen only after the full recovery from the previous one. Sometimes a female needs about 4 to 5 years for that. There are about 550 shark species swimming in the ocean, and they differ greatly in the ways of giving birth. Sharks can be oviparous, viviparous, or ovoviviparous. About one-third of shark species are the first ones. They lay eggs, which are protected by an egg case, sometimes strangely called mermaids' purses, and they sometimes look marvelous being of different shapes. Viviparous sharks can carry the embryos through the entire gestation period and give birth to live shark pups, similar to how mammals give birth. This is the most advanced method and practiced by bigger species, such as blue and hammerhead sharks. But the majority of shark species is ovoviparous. It means they combine the two first methods. They first produce eggs, which are carried inside for the gestation period. When the egg hatches, the shark pup continues developing inside the female until it's born. Sometimes shark pups eat their brothers and sisters in the womb. To prevent this, a tiger shark, for example, has two wombs, not to let the embryos get to each other. Imagine that. Female sharks of several species can give birth without any help from a male. As did Leone, a captive zebra shark from Australia's Reef HQ Aquarium, which hadn't seen any male for years. She laid 41 eggs in April 2016, three of which hatched into healthy pups. Do you know that a possum is the only one marsupial found not in Australia? One more peculiarity is the easiest and one of the quickest pregnancies among mammals. Besides, they are very fertile. For opossums, two liters in a year are common, while a third liter has been observed. The age of maturity for males is 8 months, and for females, 6 months. The opossum mom can give birth to 16 to 20, and even more babies. It happens only 12 to 13 days after mating. Babies scramble from their birthplace to the safe place inside mom's pouch. They must find a nipple. The only problem is that there are only 13 nipples. Little opossums will stay with their mother until they are about 3 to 4 months old. Here is one more interesting strategy in reproduction, so-called delayed implantation. And one of the great examples is an armadillo. Armadillos are one of the few animals who postpone their pregnancies. They mate in July, but the female won't become pregnant until November. This allows them to save their pregnancy until the best environmental conditions occur. The pregnancy does not begin for three to four months, letting the young to arrive in the spring, where there is a lot of food. There are some cases when being taken into captivity, the female miraculously gives birth. Here is one more unique feature of armadillo pregnancy. The embryos are always monozygotic. After implementation, the zygote splits into four genetically identical embryos. All of them can be either boys or girls. Each develops its own placenta, helping to ensure that all four babies survive pregnancy and make it into the world. Babies come into the world rolled into a ball. That's why they were mistakenly opinion that they lay eggs. Suriname toad is one more creature that has a very unusual way to give birth. Instead of laying eggs somewhere in the water like many toads do, the Suriname mother keeps her eggs under her skin. The female holds her eggs and holes in her back until they are ready to hatch. When the female's back is fully loaded with eggs, skin grows over the holes. This skin protects the developing offspring for the four months of pregnancy. When the eggs are ready to hatch, the babies begin to punch their hands through the holes. Here's one more amazing thing. The emerging offspring aren't the tadpoles as it can be expected. The larval tadpole stage occurred in the mother's back prior to hatching. Dolphin's pregnancy also deserves special attention. The first interesting thing is that dolphins are the only mammals giving birth to the babies, which go into this world tail first. Another fact is that pregnancy for dolphins is a real heavy burden. Females have to carry around the weight of half their own weight. 
This fact creates great problems with moving fast in the water, and dolphin future moms are in great danger. Generally, pregnancy in bottlenose dolphins lasts 12 months. Dolphins are very sociable, even during such situations like delivery. During it, another female dolphin acts like a midwife to help ensure that the newborn reaches the surface to take its first breath. If the mom is exhausted, her helper also leads her to the surface to breathe too. Here is one more creature that has problems with the size of her baby. I'm talking about the kiwi bird. The main problem with her egg is it's six times as big as normal for a bird its size. Kiwi eggs also contain the largest proportion of yolk of any bird, 65% compared to 35 to 40% for most birds. Kiwi chicks hatch with a large external yolk sac, which is gradually absorbed through their navel over the first 10 days of life. This is why kiwi parents do not have to feed their newly hatched chick. Although enormous, the egg is laid quickly. And not all the kiwi species incubate their eggs, they just live them and go away. Of course, you know what a kangaroo looks like. But have you ever heard that kangaroos have a very unusual way of giving birth? Kangaroo female's egg is fertilized in the regular way, but here, normality ends. The kangaroo female is equipped with a total of three vaginas and two uteri. All this stuff is required to serve their own joey-bearing purpose. The side vaginas carry sperm to the two uteruses, as males often have two-pronged penises. The middle vagina is the way the joey comes in this world. With all this stuff, a female kangaroo can be perpetually pregnant. This cool mother can nourish three separate youngsters at a time. An older one is outside the pouch, a young one developing inside it, and an embryo still waiting to be born. But do you know that platypuses lay eggs like birds or reptiles and milk their babies at the same time? They are a species of ancient and primitive mammals called monotremes. When the female platypus is ready to have her young, she will burrow down inside the ground near the river. Then, she will lay one or two eggs and place them between her rump and her tail to keep them warm. After about 10 days, the eggs hatch and the tiny babies appear. Mom nurses them for three to four months. She doesn't have nipples. Instead, she concentrates milk to her belly and feeds her young by sweating it out. And the last, but not least, are hyenas. These creatures may have the most difficult birth giving process. The point is that female hyenas have, just imagine, three times more testosterone than males. It results in a peculiar and risky labor process of giving birth through their clitoris, which is also called a pseudopenis. The reason? Hyenas have no vagina. The birth canal of a hyena is only about one inch across. As a result, many hyena babies do not survive. Suffocation is a frequent misfortune for the cubs. So is the death of first-time hyena mothers. So that's enough about pregnancies and birth for today. I hope you liked my list. And if you want something less informative but more relaxing and amusing, go to Animal Like People channel and watch the video about funny cats and dogs. I'm sure you'll have great fun. See ya!